Hey Cancer, what's up? How are you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing okay. Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind the energies can be vice versa. So feel free to switch the energies. And time is fluid. You could have dealt with this or will be dealing with in the future. You are the best judge. You know where you are exactly in your timeline. This is going to be for my cancer in love. Coming to the current situation, we have the Two of Swords. What is influencing the Two of Swords is the Six of Pentacles. What happened in the past, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What's on your mind, Cancer, is the Ace of Cups in reverse. What you don't see coming is the Knight of Swords. What will you experience coming into the near future is the Seven of Swords. What are you doing right now? The Page of Swords in reverse. What is the person you are dealing with doing right now? The Eight of Cups in reverse. What's in your emotions, Cancer? The Fool. What is your likely outcome is the Six of Cups in reverse. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Chariot in reverse. Some things at a halt something's not moving forward you feel you're not being able to push forward or something's just not moving forward okay you feel stuck in the past again someone could have been very stuck and stagnant there could have been a situation where things were just not moving forward you could have been uh, someone could have been coming towards you well they were anyways coming in very slowly and cautiously you probably wouldn't even be have been aware that this person's moving towards you with stability because they were moving at snail pace. But something happened and this person just stopped moving their ass towards you, okay? Could have been a situation in the past where you were just going around circles and you were getting nowhere. Right now, you're very, very indecisive. You're in your head, Cancer. Either you're ignoring or blocking a person or a situation, you're blocking your heart chakra, you're very, very indecisive. It's more like you're refusing to make a decision. You feel you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You need to make a choice between two. You need to make, uh, yeah, you need to make a choice between two unpleasant choices. What's influencing this is a six of pentacles. So I think there could be um, a situation where you're giving to two people, could be. Or this could be all about reciprocity okay someone needs to reciprocate the same maybe you're stuck in a decision of whether you want to give balance or maybe you're stuck now because you want balance in a situation and now you're not sure if this person is going to give it to you or if you want to give it to someone okay maybe you're not sure if you want to continue investing in a situation because there was a lack of balance there was a lack of equal give and take something was a very one-sided situation on your mind, you're shut off emotionally. You're not offering your cup. You're sad, depressed. Could have seen a, a potential in a certain relationship, but now you don't see it anymore. You're shut off. There is a delay in a new beginning in love or there's just a lack of a new beginning in love, okay? Someone's not opening up with the two of swords here. Because they're wanting balance. Someone wants equal give and take. Because something was a one-sided situation in the past. What you don't see coming is someone's rushing in with the Knight of Swords here. Okay? Someone, this could be someone who's very, very argumentative. This is someone who will, who's just going to come in and stir in a conflict with you. This is someone who's coming in to talk. But this is not someone, the best person who, will, who you want to have a com uh, conversation with. They won't sit and talk. Okay, They'll come, they'll say what they have to. And they leave. Knights are travelers. They don't stay. This is very harsh communication. Okay. This is harsh communication. A lot of um, harsh words exchanged. I feel you're ignoring this person. You, you could be avoiding and ignoring this person within the next few weeks. Because you're shut off. 
you could have been fed up of this person and this person couldn't have offered you anything stable and committed okay and you're fed up that's why things have come to a complete halt okay you may even feel that you just need to back up your truck okay maybe you feel you're on the wrong road could be that you've tried to push this relationship for a very long time by giving in and giving in giving in into this relationship but things just didn't move forward okay that's why you don't want a renewal in love you're shut down emotionally you are not giving in your um you're not giving an emotional approach to this situation this time you're avoiding this person i think with a page of swords in reverse here yes you're watching them from a distance they're watching you from a distance but because this is you i'm going to read it as you you're watching them from a distance you're spying and stalking them but i feel you have nothing to say you're probably just keeping an eye on them like yeah okay i'm just going to see what you're doing or probably like how shameless you are something like that with eight of cups in reverse here this person stuck on you i thought they've tried moving on and they they weren't successful so they wanted to turn back or this person has not completely moved on i feel this person hasn't completely moved on they're rushing in to talk to you with the full year in your emotions you want a new beginning in love why would you avoid this you're indecisive right now you're shut down emotionally maybe you want them to realize that they've done something wrong to you could be that this person was giving to two people or maybe you had to make a choice between two people and that's why you had to choose but in your in, in your emotions you want a new beginning you want a brand new beginning doesn't have to be with them because the likely outcome is the six of cups in reverse this could have been a strong soulmate connection this is your soulmate but um something's left a bad taste in your mouth okay you hold a grudge against them someone holds a grudge that's the likely outcome i don't think you guys are still going to be on the same page there is a grudge that you hold you have nostalgia about the worst memories that you had with this person all right Let's clarify. As you know, clarifiers can change the entire reading. But for the chariot in reverse, we have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Magician in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I hope you can see that. Again, there is a lack of a new, practical new beginning. because someone's not being able to manifest this correctly someone's not taking action or this is just someone who feels powerless about a situation okay this is someone who feels that you know think they're just not going to be able to make this happen someone feels they don't have everything that it, they they need to make this happen there is a lot of love here with the queen of cups here you love this person very very much you're very emotional about them you're very compassionate you're always for there for them you're very caring very nurturing But this is the queen of cups her intuition is on point okay so you feel something's off okay i think the ace of pentacles in reverse is also where you know there is someone who wants a new beginning but they're doubting themselves okay they're doubting if they can live this off this is someone who feels they have a lack of something okay they have a fear of scarcity or they have a fear of lacking something where they feel they can't lift this off ground okay that's why because they have the fear because they're doubting is that's why they're not being able to manifest this okay with the queen of cups someone has a lot of love but they're just unable to manifest this connection that's why things are not moving forward that's why there's a halt here that's why something's not moving forward you could have been tried to manifest this again and again but the thing is that you're doubting this okay you you're not sure this could like i said this could be a relationship where you once saw a lot of potential in but now you don't see it anymore you're doubting the connection with the two of swords you're that's why you're very indecisive you don't know if you want to give into this situation anymore have for the knight of pentacles in reverse why is the knight of pentacles in reverse was the knight of pentacles in reverse we have the hierophant in reverse sorry i have carpal tunnel 
up. My wrist hurts. So we have the Hierophant in reverse, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Sun. With the Sun here, I feel you had clarity about a situation. Okay. With the Hierophant in reverse, I feel there was this is someone who is very, very non-committal. Okay. This is someone who doesn't who likes to break away from the tradition. They don't like to do it the traditional way. Okay. This is someone who doesn't want marriage, commitment the family they don't want all that okay they like to do it their way this is someone who it's hard to budge their beliefs okay this is about their own beliefs and their own um values this is how they want a, this is what they want from a relationship and with the page of wants in reverse here there could have been a lack of communication maybe you're losing interest because of that and with the sun here i feel this relationship once made you very very happy but because this person was non-committal you're losing interest and you're losing passion in this relationship. The three of swords in reverse had flipped out. Someone's healing from a heartbreak or a separation or a breakup. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here the current situation? The Five of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the King of Cups in reverse. Someone is shut down emotionally, okay? This person's emotions are unstabilized. Could be dealing with someone very, very emotionally immature, okay? However, there's someone who wants to apologize. There is an apology coming in or there is communication coming in. This could be, this could have been someone who you feel who left you out in the cold or you left them out in the cold, okay? Someone misses you, they feel lonely, they feel abandoned. They're coming in with an apology, but with the King of Cups in reverse, I feel you're emotionally shut down. I don't think you'll give a shit to this person. Could have been that this person left you out in the cold, okay? Whoever it is, right? Whoever's left out in the cold, right? They want to come in with an apology, I'm assuming. But the other person's shut down. It's like, nope. No apologies. Accept it. It's not an apology. They're coming in with some flirty communication, emotional communication. But it's a page. If you, I, I don't know, after screwing up big time, if someone's coming in with a weak-ass apology, I don't know how to react to that. Well, it's up to you, Cancer. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? I feel someone here needs to make a choice because someone has a choice. I, I, you know what? I feel that someone needs is giving to two people and they need to make a choice. Like, is it me or them? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Justice and the King of Wands. You see how this is transitioning? I feel you could have been dealing with a player. The Knight of Wands in reverse, someone very, very flighty, okay? This is someone who has very player-like player tendencies, okay? One moment they're passionate about you, the second moment they're not. They're very impulsive, very reckless, okay? Temperamental, but this is someone who's just energies all over the place, all over the place. However, th this is someone who wants to bring in balance. That's why the Six of Pentacles. That's why the Six of Pentacles. Someone wants to give, wants to have an equal give and take. They want a balanced relationship. And that's why you're in your head. You're not sure, okay? You're not sure if you want this with them. You're ignoring them. You're blocking communication with them. You're uh, refusing to make a choice. Because I think this person was like this in the past, right? But now they're trying to get justice. Maybe you feel that they're getting their karma. Justice is also karma paying off, okay? Someone's getting that karma and now I think with the knight, from the Knight of Wands, it could also be that you're dealing with two people here. One is the King of Wands and one is the Knight of Wands in reverse. And probably you need to do justice. Which one do you want? That's a, that's a story for very few of you. But otherwise I feel the Knight of Wands in reverse, now this person has completely turned for the better and with the King, they've become the King of Wands. This person wants to be come in very passionately they've made up their mind 
they're zoned down on you. This is someone dead serious about you. And with the justice here, they want to bring in fairness and balance to the situation. But you're in your head. You're in your head. You don't know if you want this. Because we already know that the Ace of Cups in reverse is on your mind. You're already shut off emotionally. You're sad, depressed. Cards flipped out. One second. The lovers in reverse fell out. You could have felt a strong soulmate connection, twin flame connection to this person. This was a connection once very, very strong. Either someone had fear of commitment here, could be, or this could just be someone who made the wrong choice, okay? Someone didn't have the courage to make the right choice. The King of Cups in reverse keeps falling out. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? We have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're definitely not op opening up. You're definitely emotionally unavailable, emotionally shut down, okay? Because you think something was a waste of time. You could have invested in this person for a very long time, waited and waited and waited for the fruits of your labor. You could have waited for the situation to come into fruition, but it just didn't happen, did it? Something was a big fat disappointment, and with the Queen of Wands here, now you're just going to do what makes you happy. You're taking action. You're not waiting for them anymore. The Queen of Wands is the Queen of Action. Okay, she takes care of herself. She's very, very light. She's she's someone sees you as very attractive. This is how they view you as very attractive, a very a, like a go-getter, someone who's got their shit together. And this is probably what you're doing. You're taking care of yourself. Because now you're shut down. Because someone was a player in the past. In and out of your life. The knights are in and out. Okay. They're travelers. They don't stick in one place. They don't like to be tied down. Could be someone who was very emotionally manipulative in the past. And now you just think it was, it's over. It's dead. It's a dead situation. You just felt it was a waste of time. And now you're just not offering your cup to them. Okay. You're shut down. Shut down and how? And maybe this person wants to come in. Now they want to make it a balanced situation but you're stuck in your head you're sh you, you've completely blocked your heart chakra you're not opening up to this person emotionally absolutely unavailable what is this knight of swords what is this knight of swords what is this knight of swords too many cards give me three cards universe what is this knight of swords what is the knight of swords here Look, didn't I tell you this card flipped out? It just wanted to come out. I had also seen the death. Yes. Okay. We have the lovers in reverse, the death and the king of swords in reverse. Whoever's rushing in cancer, they're pissed off. Someone's very angry, very angry, okay? The King of Swords in reverse is someone with a very bad attitude, okay? Someone emotionally manipulative. They're, uh, they, they lie, they cheat. They will just, they're very indecisive. But you know what? The worst thing is that this is someone who usually thinks from their logic, their mind, their reasoning power, but when they're in the reverse, this is someone who does not use any of that, okay? And that's why they're just imbalanced, Someone is very emotionally manipulative, okay? They're just very angry. I feel a lot of bitterness, very angry, okay? Someone, they, they're very, whoever's coming in, this could have been someone who's very cold, detached, and very icy towards you. With the lovers in reverse here, you've definitely gone through a breakup or a separation with this person. This is an ending of a soul contract. This is a soul, uh, this is a soulmate connection that was once very, very strong, but you don't feel the connection anymore, okay? Again, fear of commitment, or there was someone here who made the wrong choice. Someone was just afraid of commitment, okay? And with the death here, I think that this is someone you had ended things with. Either this person is wanting to transform things, and that's why they're rushing in, okay? Or this is someone who you've, you know, you've ended things with. They're very bitter towards you, being cold and detached. They've had a separation, but uh, they want to rush in and talk. They want to talk. Apply for the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Apply for the Seven of Swords. 
Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here? I think you're I think you're self-sabotaging the connection cancer could be could be it doesn't have to be either you're ignoring and avoiding this connection or this person or you're self-sabotaging this connection with the queen of swords here the devil in reverse and the justice here I feel they should you feel that this is what is the correct thing to do you feel this is their karma you feel that they should get their karma for whatever they've done to you and with the devil in reverse, you're releasing, you're letting go of this person. You're freeing yourself from this toxic connection. Because with the queen of swords, you're, you're fed up. You're fed up with them completely. It's all about, you know what? You're like letting it go. Because you just feel that they should, karma should definitely bite their ass. I think you're self-sabotaging this. I don't think you give too much of a shit to this person. It could also be that someone wants to bring in balance, okay, in this connection, but someone's coming in to get, have a very honest conversation, okay, this is someone, this is a very no-nonsense queen, with the devil in reverse here, they've let go of any addictions or any toxic behavior they had, but I feel it's the first story. I mean, that could be for a very few of you, but I feel this is someone who's self-sabotaging the connection. You're fed up. You're completely fed up. You're releasing this person. Why is the page of swords in reverse here? That's why the page of swords in reverse. You could be watching them just to see how 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 stupid they are or whatever. I mean, I don't know. But the page of swords in reverse is like you have nothing to say. You have nothing to talk. You're just watching. Like you just get the time. You'll just watch what they're doing. But you have no intentions of talking to them at all. This could just be you playing mind games also, trying to teach them a lesson. All right, the page of swords in reverse is uh, clarified by the ace of swords in reverse, the eight of wands in reverse, and the nine of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Someone was a liar. Either someone was a liar or someone was keeping the truth from being revealed, okay? There, were, there is a lack of communication. Something did not move forward. That's why things did not progress. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel someone's extremely codependent. Could be you, Cancer, because we're seeing this as you do, as you doing this, okay? Maybe even after the breakup and the separation, because this is a soulmate twin flame connection, you feel very codependent on them. They could have done a lot of wrong to you. They could have been someone who's lying, who's just not saying the truth to you. You feel they're manipulative. You feel the, the, there's a lot of miscommunication, misinformation that has been told to you. But still, and that's why things are not moving forward. So it's like, you know what? One way, you're very, very codependent on them. Things are not moving forward with them. Okay? Because you know that they were liars. But then you're still spying and watching on them. So how does that work, Cancer? If you have to let someone go, you just gotta let them go, right? You need to make up your mind. Because look, that's why. That's why you're stuck in your head so hard. You're just in, up in your head. It could be a difficult decision, but if you're not going to get rid of the blindfold and see the reality for what it is, then you're just not going to get anywhere. I feel this is a very codependent relationship. You're being very, very clingy and needy. There is a lack of communication here and things are not moving forward. There's a lack of progress, okay? Maybe you want to release this person, okay? But you're just not being able to all because you are you want them. You, you, this is, this could also be the Knight of Pentacles reverses also someone who does not want to be alone, okay? They fear being alone. Do you have the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Look, we have the Hermit, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Swords in reverse. This person who's not being able to walk away from you, they want a reconciliation. They're dropping their swords, okay? They want a reconciliation with you. They want a peaceful resolution with you. They've given this a very hard thought, okay? With the Hermit here, 
they were hermiting big time a hard fucking thought they've given this a very deep thought they've gone within themselves they tried to find the answers they've actually gone within and seen what they want from you what and how they want to move forward with this relationship with the four of swords here that's a very that's dead silence between you both okay with the hermit more than four of swords with the hermit here i feel this is where they've actually done the research they've actually done the thinking a lot of thinking okay that's a lot of thinking they could have isolated themselves completely over the four of swords your lack of communication they just took a break someone took a time out and now they realize that they want a reconciliation with you why because they're not being able to move forward okay they're stuck on you why is the fool here We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Hmm. Very, very conflicted in your head, Cancer. You're so conflicted in your head. The Five of Wands. Your head and heart are on a constant battle. You don't know if you want to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune here and move forward and see what's there in luck for you, or you want the Ten of Cups with them. You want a new beginning, okay? I feel this is you, but so this is probably how it should be. Okay. yeah now it looks right and this so i see you wanting to take a leap of faith i see you wanting to take a risk i see you trusting in the unknown okay but it's like which side do you want to go okay you're very conflicted in your head you have like an inner battle in your head okay this is internal conflict within yourself do you want to go ahead and make and have the stand of cups with this person or do you want to move forward in life and make your own um, make your own fortune, make your own destiny? Okay, I feel this is how it is. You've left it to the universe. I feel you've definitely left it to the universe. Okay, so that's probably what you're conflict. Should I leave it to the universe and just move forward and take the leap of faith, or should I go back to this person and I want the stand of cups with them because you see them as their uh, as your um, and all be all okay you see them as someone who com emotionally completes you and fulfills you why is the six of cups why is the six of cups in reverse here as the likely outcome why is the six of cups in reverse here as your likely outcome why would that happen why is the six of cups in reverse here as the likely outcome We have the lovers in reverse again, the seven of cups in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse. Um, I still feel that in the likely outcome, I still feel in the future, you're still going to feel this disconnection. You're still going to feel like, I think you're going to have trust issues with this person. Okay. There is going to be a lack of progress. There is going to be a lack of progress. Okay. Things are just not going to be able to move forward. Probably you just, I mean, uh, there's going to be a lack of communication too. This person could have hurt you and cut you very, very deep. Okay, we did see the Three of Swords when I was shuffling. Three of Swords in reverse, you could have been recovering from um, emotional trauma. Yes, there could have been a third party situation, although I don't see it here. But with the Seven of Cups in reverse, you're, you're realizing something. You're not into your dream world anymore, okay? You're not into this visual thinking anymore. You realize and see things clearly. There has been a disconnection between you both. You realize that. And with the Eight of Wands, you're, that's why there is a lack of progress. All this is because you're conflicted in your head. You don't know what to do. It's more like your emotions are driving you nuts, okay? And it's because some this person has left a bad taste in your mouth, okay? You hold a grudge against them. You're not being... You're still clinging on to the past, clinging on to the bad memories. That's why you still feel this disconnection. That's why things are not moving forward. I feel you're still not ready and not wanting to communicate with them. They want to communicate with you. They're more like, go, go, go. Like now, let's talk now. But you're just stuck and shut down. You're stuck in your head, shut down. And that's why things are not moving forward. That's why everything's on a halt. Alright Cancer, I hope this video resonates with you. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. 
um, leave your comments below. If you need a private reading, my information is going to be down below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.